Driverless ride hailing increased significantly last year. Driverless ride hailing is rapidly increasing in San Francisco, California. And recent data shows that it has continued to grow even after an incident involving a passenger with General Motors GM subsidiary Cruise. Cruise and Alphabet-owned Waymo were the only two companies approved to test driverless ride hailing operations in the city throughout much of last year. In a recent report, the San Francisco Chronicle compiled quarterly data from the California Public Utilities Commission CPUC, showing that Waymo nearly reached 1 million driverless miles driven between September and November. While Cruz lost its permit to operate driverless tests following an accident in October. During the first quarter of 2023, however, only 26,000 driverless miles were driven by the companies combined, illustrating how rapidly the services grew in the city throughout last year. You can see the Waymo and Cruz data as compiled by San Francisco Chronicles Sriharsha Devilopolo below. Currently, Companies don't have to report the specific number of driverless vehicles they're operating to state regulators. So it's unclear exactly how many vehicles Waymo has on San Francisco roads. Waymo and Cruz were approved to begin operating paid robotaxi trips 24 hours a day in August. Though Cruz was required to reduce its fleet by 50% by the Department of Motor Vehicles in the same month, due to concerning incidents. On October 2, a cruise robotaxi hit and dragged a pedestrian who had been hit by a human driver. Shortly thereafter losing its permit to operate driverless vehicles and facing investigations at both the state and federal levels. The company has since lost two co-founders including the CEO and several executives, laid off almost a quarter of its staff. Halted production of a self-driving van and hired legal and tech firms to help review its post-accident response. The data also comes after Waymo expanded its Phoenix robotaxi services to include highway driving this week. And after the company logged around 81,100 paid, driverless trips in November alone. We are steadily working through our waitlist in San Francisco and believe there is still strong demand for the unique service we offer. Said Chris Bonelli a Waymo spokesperson, in an email. And when we have capacity to fully open our service, similar to Phoenix, we will be able to welcome additional residents, occasional visitors and tourists. While Tesla's full self-driving FSD beta has been talked about as a pathway to a robotaxi service in the future, the company's testing of the system operates a little differently than Waymo's. All of Tesla's vehicles can be equipped with the FSD beta as an add-on for buyers, and testing simply occurs when the system is activated in driver vehicles. In October, Tesla's FSD beta reached 500 million cumulative miles driven, after having reached 150 million in April. At this point, the system doesn't offer any driverless or ride-hailing operations, though it's expected to be able to someday in the future. Tesla. Full self-driving presents billions in growth by 2030, Firm says. Source. Reposted and summarized from Zachary Visconti at Teslarati.